Damn it. I can't remember the fundamental theorem of calculus. Oh yeah, um, what did Professor Kitten talk about? Today we'll be learning the fundamental theorem of calculus. So, to start off, we will draw a graph. With the axes labeled Y and T. Next, we will draw a random function. This will be F of T. And just picking some random points on here. Draw it straight down. This whole section is f of x. And right here is x. What? And now we take from here. Let's call this a. And Say this is B. We want the area under the curve F of X T from A to X. This will be called G of X. And since it's the area under the curve F of T, we write this as the integral from a to x of f of t dt, where x is between a and b. to find the relationship between the two. So, we are going to shift x by a number called h, say to there. So this will be x plus h. And that goes up through the curve until it's right at the same height as f of x, and it makes a rectangle. Now, we want to find the area of this. And to get that, we take g of h plus x minus this area, which is just g of x. And, from simple geometry, we can see that the area of this is f of x times h. However, this is only an approximate, because you can see from here, it's not a perfect rectangle. So we write this is approximately h times f of x. Approximately h times f of f of oh, x, x. And rearranging this expression to isolate f of x, we get f of x is approximately g of x plus h minus g of x divided by h. Now, does this seem familiar? Derivative. That's right, 
iTunes. But we're missing one thing. H has to get very, very tiny and approaches zero, so it's exactly f of x. So now we can get rid of this approximate sign and write equals the limit as h goes to zero. And this is the derivative of g of x. Therefore, f of x equals the derivative of g of x. Oh, right, the math quiz. Yeah, the math quiz. How do you around here somewhere?